So next we're going to discuss subtracting two functions where if we have f minus g of x, that is the same as f of x minus g of x, where f minus g of x is just some new function, similar to adding two functions. So if we look at f minus g of x, which is just f of x minus g of x, if I write f minus g of negative three halves, Notice that only the x is different and it was replaced by negative three halves. Everything else remained the same, the parentheses, f minus g, and the only thing that's different is the x value that was replaced by negative three halves. Therefore, we will replace every x with negative three halves. So we get f of negative three halves minus g of negative three halves. And all we have left to do is evaluate each function at negative three halves and then find the difference. So f of negative three halves would be two times negative three halves squared plus negative three halves minus three minus g of negative three halves, which would be negative negative three halves squared minus two times negative three halves plus one. So just simplifying each parenthesis and be sure to put parentheses because you will have to distribute that negative to each after we simplify. So here I have two times nine fourths minus three halves minus three in the first parenthesis minus, just keeping parentheses on, nine fourths negative so negative nine-fourths. Notice here the twos do reduce out and I'm left with a minus minus three which is a plus three plus one. And just simplifying a little further in this first parenthesis where two goes into four twice so I'm left with nine halves minus three halves minus three minus negative nine-fourths plus three plus one, which is plus four. Combining like terms in the first parentheses, nine minus three is six, and keep the denominator the same, so I get six halves, which is really just three, minus three, minus a negative nine-fourths, which is plus nine-fourths, minus a positive four, which is minus four. So if I distribute that negative to each term in the parentheses, I'll get nine-fourths minus four. Three minus three is zero, so we won't worry about that much. Plus nine-fourths minus four but if I put four over one, I can get a common denominator of four, so it'll be minus 16 fourths, which is really just nine minus 16, which is negative seven, keep the denominator the same, four. So f minus g of negative three halves is negative seven fourths, and don't forget that this is just some new function, and this is just an ordered pair on that new function.